Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Learning Urine, where today we'll be talking about Aegis Reflector or V Trigger 1 and how you can use this in neutral uh, for different situations. We won't be talking necessarily about how you can use meter V Trigger mix ups, those will come later. How you can use V Trigger mix ups. I just want to show you how versatile this tool actually can be today. We also already saw a bit of this in this last episode with how you can use it to anti air with. Now we're going to show a bit more how versatile it is in uh, neutral and how you can actually and also a bit about what you actually can do if your opponent blocks the mirror how you can pick it up again and maybe get the hit of course it's a guessing situation even though your opponent blocked it they're still in a guessing situation and you can use that to your advantage always remember that they can't just jump out as some of you might it's one of the options they can do and it's a good option for them but it's not a, it's not a complete solution to how to counter Urian's block mirror at least V trigger one, uh, the first V trigger activation. But before we get into that, let's just take a look at the mirror's properties to start with how the frame data. As you guys might know, Urian can activate his mirror in three directions. He can do he can do a far, a close, and an up mirror. The far mirror is five frame startup, the close mirror is ten frame startup, and the up mirror is fifteen frame startup. This is important to know, especially the far mirror being five frames, but not only that, the first mirror, this is this is uh, different depending if it's the first or the second mirror. The first mirror has one frame of full invincibility on activation. So the first frame is fully invincible. It is not as good as uh, it sounds. And we and I'm also going to show how you can blow up Urians that wake up close mirror. I'm going to show you guys that. I know uh, this is serious to how to play Urian, but we're also going to show what is bad habits as a Urian player. So we're going to show that in a second. Uh, and the second mirror. The second mirror has some different frame data. That's what makes the first mirror the very good one and the second mirror not as good. The, sec the second mirror, the far one has 25 frame, 24 frames sorry, of startup, the far version. The close version has four, 14 frames and uh, the up one has 16 frames. It's hard to remember all of this in my head. But, <laughs> but yeah, so the second mirror and it doesn't have full invisibility on one frame. So it's worse, and if you try to use the second mirror as the first mirror, in like you want to do trades or so or stuff like that, as you saw with the, in the last episode of how I use the first mirror to anti air with a trade, and then I get a hit after. You can't do that with the second mirror. It will just be beat out, and you will lose the mirror, and that's always sucks. So you can't really use this the second mirror in the same ways. You have to use it's more of a combo mirror or a defensive mirror in a neutral. You can't really it's very punishable let's say like that if you just activate it raw and uh, close to the opponent but a lot of people don't do that anyway so you can actually you can use it like that sometimes you know so i just mentioned that the farm mirror is five frame startup that is huge huge for reasons a lot of people don't think about you can actually use this tool not only as a whiff punishing tool but a punishing tool i use it uh, as an example against Chun Li stand hard punch, you know, the one where you reach it for blood, that is minus six on block now. On block, you can punish it with a V trigger activation. The same goes for Birdie's EX uh, Bullhorn, Bullhead, I don't know what it's called, the one where he like, hits you forward. That is minus five, but Urian has so slow buttons that he can't punish it with anything else than the, um, than the uh, V trigger. So that's really good way of punishing uh, those kind of things. I also mentioned that uh, uh, it has fully invincibility, and you, some people like to wake up mirror, and uh, they think it's a good option. But let's just run through and see how it's not a good option. So right now, right here, we have Urian, a uh, Urian bot. He said to do a EX headbutt or a wake up close mirror. That's just two options right now. Let's just go and do a re regular combo. Uh, and see uh wake up i'm gonna read it as he's gonna wake up with something that isn't buttons that's my read at the moment let's say we're in that situation he's gonna do one of those two but i don't know which one i'm a bit scared of which one i'm gonna show you guys how to like i'm gonna do this on reaction and of course you can come with from there now let's hope he does the other one this time it's random remember this he didn't so let's do it again. Oh my god. 
As you can see, you can punish like that. Uh, the EXA bot. Oh. It is set to do both options. I didn't mess up the die. Else, it is doing both options. It's just okay. You now what? Let's force the second one because now you guys have seen. Huh. That is on reaction. I can. I we can try to do this again and see if I can get. I go cross. I would block the EX headbutt. As you can see, I'm blocking the EX headbutt or I'm dashing through. I'm doing this on reaction. It's very easy to punish. Like, there's also like other punishes where like some characters can like do a crouch hard, uh, it's a cross counter move, jump over the mirror, hit him while still being in the cross counter state, and continue the combo because they get betrayed the first hit. So that's all kinds. So it's never good to activate uh, mirror mid screen. That's not good. It's not a good defensive option. You, if you, of course, if you get away with it, then you're playing an opponent that doesn't punish it properly. Go right ahead and do it. It's not on you to play perfectly. It's on your opponent to punish if you don't play perfectly. That's how you play fighting games. Like, of course, it's nice to play crisp, clean, and never really give any openings away. But if you can get away with doing these openings, why not? You get an up. You get you go, get to get back to wake up. You get to get back to neutral of something they should have been prepared to punish, but they weren't. It's not on you to play perfect, it's on them to punish when you don't play perfect. But as I said, like in the corner, it's a bit different. Uh, um, let's just turn that option from. Yeah, and let's change to corner. As you can see, because he's in the corner, I can't push him more backwards. So you can't do the dash punish in the corner. So it's a bit more... As a wake up option in the corner, it's more legit because the only option is to do a throw to get some damage. And even, even after the throw, that's not really... They can't do anything more. They might get hit by the mirror and then it's like, you know... You kind of have a bit more breathing room in the corner. So it's it's a decent option in the corner to actually close mirror, but never... As I just showed you, and now people that don't play the characters probably also gonna see this. Don't do wake up close mirror. Uh, mid screen, anyway, so that was a bit about that, and uh, that's nice. So now I'm gonna show you uh, through some options for mirror uh, how you can how you can force a hit even after if they block the first mirror. So there's a few options here, and um, yeah, just give me a sec to set this up, guys. So we're just gonna do a quick transition like this. Okay guys, we are back, and now we got our trusty real butt back, and we are gonna explore some other options. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about how the Aegis and throws work, because a lot of people actually don't really know a few things we got with the throw. So I'm just gonna go through it. So, there's, you, there's different properties to the throw, depending on if you do a forward throw or back throw into the mirror, and you can get different stuff from it. Uh, I want to show this setup real quick, because it's a real good setup that leaves you plus two. It's not a beyond end all. But you know, this is like uh, one of the things you can do from a forward throw. And that's plus two. As we said, oh sorry, we set the real butt to do a a uh, on guard, a stand light punch, which is free frame. So it's a plus two situation, so you can go do a jab into a medium punch confirm, cross medium punch confirm after, which is really good. That's what you can kind of get off a, that's the setup you can get off a forward throw. Uh, you can of course also like, if you don't want to do that, you can just do the bounce like this, and then like you can spread with another throw, shimmy, and stuff like that. And of course, do a midi after this. If you need a bit more damage, if you're really close to kill him after the throw, you can go for the crouch medium punch, which does you know a decent amount of damage, enough to kill in a lot of situations. Actually, uh, have saved me a lot of times. So that's kind of the things you get from a forward throw. But the really interesting stuff is what you get from a back throw. Uh, you need to be a bit away from the mirror, but as you can see, you get a full cross hard punch combo. Which is pretty damn good. You get that from a back throw. So this is really good to remember when you're doing the more fancy Yurian mix-ups we're gonna talk about later. How you can with the second mirror if you get the throw. That's why people are so scared of getting thrown by Yurian. Uh, and we're gonna talk a bit better about later what, why, what you can use this threat to if, you, if the opponent blocks the first mirror. Uh, and um, also just to uh, 
because people have been talk asking me about this and people are saying like yeah you show these really fancy you no know, cross under uh, mix-ups and stuff like what if i don't really want to do that i i say it's fine you didn't don't want to do that to start with if you're just starting out learning i guess it's fine i'm going to teach you something a bit more simplistic where we're gonna talk about how you can combo into the second mirror because the second mirror is best used in these reset situations or to extend combos so uh, a way you can use it if you don't want to use these uh, cross is just extend the combo to make your opponent sweat a bit more so the way you do that is when with using a ex fireball so let's say um, if you get the hit let's say you just get the hit and you reset and uh, normally you can get it so so you get the combo you don't want to reset with a hard punch so oh, sorry i'm not really used to doing these but uh, you get the reset Hey, see, because of that reset, you get a quite a bit of more damage. You can even be cheeky and do another overhead in the middle of the second mirror. That's like one of the more easy ones. You can also just like, you know, stop the combo mid combo to friend with a throw. I can go for a low if they scare the overhead. You've done a lot of overheads, you know, like if you usually do the medium punch into overhead, you can do medium punch, wait a bit, do light kick or something like that, cross light kick, something funny like that. So that's like some more simplistic stuff you can do also another one let's see you let's say you get the first hit here mid screen like you do this combo he's in the corner here's another mix up you can do you can do mirror in front oh sorry so let's say again we're gonna try this again you get a very basic combo like this you get him closer in front of a corner you go to the other side now because of the how the mirror works the mirror is just like a protect projectile, so when you do this second mirror thing here, you can even do it even better, like closer to so you push him into it, which is even more dirty if you push him into it. So the way, so they have to block on the side urine is on, which means it's basically a cross up. And you, if you time it really well, you can do it as a 50-50 unblockable, where you don't really know, because if you are right on top of the head of the opponent as you're floating over, you, they have to kind of guess which side the mirror is gonna start hitting them, and as soon as it crosses the breakdown, they're gonna. You can do a cross hard punch jump combo. This is also like this is very old school. It's it's like eh, week one take with Urian, but it's good and it still works to this day. It's funny because it's so old now that people kind of forgot about it, and now it works again. So that's kind of some things if you want some more basic Urian mix up stuff. If you get my drift, so that's like some of the things you can do from that and um, here to end the video on I just wanted to talk about like because I see a lot of people talk about like uh, sorry, I see a lot of people do the same uh, combo sequence when if they don't hit the first mirror which I think is kind of a waste because you have three hits in which your opponent is really stressed out he's very scared of either overhead or low or throw and you can do so much from this situation um, so if you just set the, and as I just told you with how you can extend the combo with the EX uh, fireball, you can also extend the block string with it, so you can use both your mirrors like that, so you can do something like this. That's a lot of blocking there, that can make our opponent very scared. So, with all that blocking, and in, in all that blocking, at some point, you might do an overhead. You might stop entirely and just threaten with a throw, you know, stuff like just like doing this. And yeah, of course now he's jabbing. Let's just turn it off for a quick. Uh, uh, if you do this and you just walk forward, because he's so scared of the throw, because I would get from him, you can just walk forward backwards. He might reach out. You whiff punish, and suddenly you got the hit. Instead of just keep doing the same, you know, block string over and over again. So that's something you can threaten with. And of course you can also like. Do uh, uh, an overhead or a low in this situation, uh, and also on the point of like if your opponent blocks your mirror, I just I see a lot of people not really countering it. They don't maybe not don't understand how to actually counter it, but I see a lot of people just jumping out of your blocked mirror, and that's not necessarily a good option. Um, so I think. Um, okay, we don't have this option set up. Let's just quickly make it. It takes two seconds. So, a lot of people like to just jump out of the mirror like this. 
I think it's decently safe and it's actually and I've seen a lot of you don't understand how to counter the simple jump out but the, it's very easy you just mash light kicks and he gets hit so he can't jump out if you do a light kick at the start of it he can't jump out so a lot of people like to do like if you do if it's unblocked they do um so a normal string would maybe be like if you turn it off again a normal string would be something like check for the throw he's not throwing go ahead it might hit if it's not hitting you have still have one bounce it's important to use all you, you it's free blocks you have to you have free hits with the mirror that is very scary for the opponent and trust me guys you know i know a lot of you are Syrians, so you don't really maybe get into the situation a lot because you don't play the mirror a lot but blocking that aegis reflect on the first one is insanely scary and it feels like forever if he does the ex fireball extension too and you can really make your opponent sweat and if you use if you really vary up uh, if you yeah, vary up i think that's the term uh, the different options you have when they have faster blocks so you don't just do the same thing over again you just don't always do go for the overhead you don't always go for the throw you go for the shimmy sometimes really make him scared in rank you play a two out of three use that two out of three to really vary up if you get a lot of blocked v trigger hits but yeah that's just what i wanted to show some very simple options like i wanted to show like what you can get off a of throw off the mirror that works for both mirror one and mirror two i wanted to show a bit of like easy mix-ups because i know people have been asking for that not the next video we're gonna uh, not next video but further on we're gonna start i'm gonna start showing these more complex more fancy setups that trust me guys they're not it's just practice it's, it's just like learning a combo as soon as you understand how to do the mix-up it's just like doing a combo it gets very easy with time and uh, yeah now the more complex stuff is gonna come i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you did leave a like if you want to see more videos yeah hit the subscription button to get notified when i go make these videos i do them once a week and else yeah just have a nice day guys hope uh hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something see ya